Inspiration to Creation Coach, and it is time for Monday Inspiration. So, I want to talk about journaling today. A lot of people journal, and a lot of people don't. When I was younger, I did a lot of journaling. I have stacks and stacks of journals, and I'm not sure there's much in them that is, was worth anything. But I did find it useful at the time to get my feelings out on paper. Uh, these days, uh, I am journaling again, uh, but with a more specific purpose in mind. I like to journal uh, about what I want to create in my life. I want to, you know, so I focus on it and I, I spend time and attention focused on what I want to create. I like to journal about how I could do a better job every day and about what's going well for me. And um, I, I put down affirmations. I have a gratitude journal where I write down a few things every day I'm grateful for. And you know, so I'm using journals in a, in a variety of ways. There are some people, um, mostly artists and creative people, a lot of the, the writers I work with, they like to do what Julia Cameron called morning pages, where they sit down and they just write kind of stream of consciousness um, until they run out or maybe they put a timer on. So there are lots of ways to use journaling. And I want to encourage you, I want to inspire you today for Monday, inspiration to actually begin journaling in some way, shape, or form. Um, and, I, and I challenge you actually to, to journal for a month and see what it does for you. Now, you can do the stream of consciousness, that's fine. Or you can journal in a more kind of structured way, like, like I do, where I, I'm journaling about what I want to create or... Um, what I could do better, that sort of thing. Sometimes I just journal, though, about things that are bothering me. You know, if something's on my mind that I can't get it out of my mind, then I will journal about that for a while to kind of figure it out and release it or find a solution or an answer. And so that's another good use for journaling. So like I said, you can do it, um, you know, sort of a law of attraction-like to create what you want um, and focus your attention on what you want. You can use it for writing affirmations. You can use it for uh, evaluating how you did today and how you would like to do better. You can use it to focus on gratitude and also what's going well in your life. Or you can use it as a way to uh, simply... Uh, maybe not simply, but to, to review and explore issues in your life and how you feel about them and what kind of outcomes you could create in, in different ways. So those are several ways for you to journal. I do want to place a caution out there for the writers who are watching this. I know a lot of people who follow me um, want, are aspiring authors um, and nonfiction writers. And what I want to say is don't use your journaling as procrastination. Okay, there are a lot of people who do morning pages, writers I know who do morning pages, and then they say they don't have time to write. That's a mistake, okay? <laughs> so block out some time for journaling and then block out more time for getting your actual writing project done or your piece of art or your project, whatever it is, okay? So I journal right before bed for maybe 10 minutes and I try to journal in the morning as well. Uh, but also just for a brief amount of time, and um, I used to journal on the computer. I mean, there was a big, um, you know, push. People, you know, the advice is always journal by hand, that it's different. Uh, but I used to find that I couldn't keep up with my thoughts, and I liked journaling on the computer. I'm not doing that at the moment, but uh, there was a period of my life where that's what I did. I kept an online journal. And you can do that too, but don't use your blog for that. Your blog is not as a, an online journal. Yes, they started out as streams of consciousness, but that's not what they... That's not the best use of your blog. So use your blog to provide really great, valuable information to your followers and use your journal to explore the workings of your mind, to create what you want, all that sort of thing, okay? So I challenge you to take a month to do some journaling, either in the morning or at night or both, just short blocks of time spent using a journal for one of the reasons that I said or in one of the ways that I suggested. Okay, that's the challenge. So I hope that I've inspired you to do that. Uh, you know, for me, I get a lot of clarity and I really feel like um, the journaling helps me focus on the positive parts of my life rather than on the negative. So even if I'm struggling with something and I journal about it, I'm looking for the solution, for the highest thought. And so, you know, I, I hope for you that you can use your journal the same way. 
to not sit there and rehash old yucky things, negative beliefs that you know you don't want to have anymore. I hope you'll use it to um, manifest what you really want in your life and to um, find ways to grow uh, and to uh, to advance in your life. Okay, so that's it. That's the challenge. One month of journaling. Okay, get a nice nice uh, journal, you know, that if you like that, get a leather bound one or a colorful one or one that says something nice on it or just get a spiral bound notebook. That works just as well and you won't be, you won't be so worried about being perfect in it because the journal is so nice. You can just scribble and do whatever you want. Okay, that is it. That is my Monday inspiration to you. Start journaling, check it out, see whether it helps you in any way. I'm sure it probably will. I am Nina Amir, as I said, the Inspiration to Creation Coach, Certified High Performance Coach, Author Coach, Blog Coach. And if you are anyone who wants to improve their life, create new things, follow your dreams, combine that purpose with your passion so you do take inspired action, look me up at ninaamir.com. And let's talk about getting together so that I can help you achieve more inspired results.